Welcome to Keep It Sunny's 31 Days of Halloween. Welcome back. Today we're going to be making these crispy glazed fried bat wings, some autumn potato salad, and some moldy cornbread. These bat wings have a crispy skin and a sweet and sour glaze. So let's get started. The ingredients that we're going to need today are going to be for the potato salad, half a cup of finely chopped green pepper, half a cup of shredded onion, three garlic cloves, two tablespoons of olive oil, half a cup of Miraquip or mayo, half a cup of heavy whipping cream, quarter cup of milk, one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of mustard, three tablespoons of sweet relish, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of dill wheat, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, and six hard-boiled eggs. For the bat wings, we're going to need one cup of flour, 10 whole chicken wings, salt and pepper, quarter cup of soy sauce, three garlic cloves, half a cup of butter, one tablespoon of vinegar, one teaspoon of Tabasco, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, some vegetable oil. And for the cornbread, we're going to need some cornbread mix, eggs, and milk. The cornbread box that I got called for one egg and a third of a cup of milk, but you'll need to follow whatever directions are on your cornbread mix that you get, because they may be different. Also, we're gonna need some black food coloring, green and orange food coloring. So first up, we're gonna make our autumn potato salad. This potato salad is creamy, sweet, and tangy. We're gonna start off by taking four large potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and peel them. Then we're gonna go ahead and dice them up into large cubes. Now we're going to take a large pot and fill it with water and put our diced potatoes in. We're going to bring this to a boil and cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes until your potatoes are tender. Now we're going to take six eggs, add them to a pot of water, bring them to a boil, and then reduce the heat to a medium temperature and cook them for 12 minutes until hard boiled. Now we're going to take a saute pan and we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. Now we're going to add our three chopped garlic cloves. Half a cup of shredded onions. Half a cup of finely chopped green pepper. Now we're just going to saute this until tender. Now our potatoes are done cooking. They are nice and tender, but not too soft. 
we're gonna set those aside to cool. Now we're gonna work on our potato salad sauce. We're gonna take half a cup of Miraquip or mayonnaise, depending on your preference. One tablespoon of mustard. I used yellow mustard for this recipe. One tablespoon of honey. One tablespoon of olive oil. One tablespoon of sugar. Three tablespoons of sweet relish. One tablespoon of paprika. One tablespoon of dill weed. Two teaspoons of black pepper. Two teaspoons of salt. One tablespoon of vinegar. Now we're going to go ahead and add our cooked green pepper, onion, and garlic. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of heavy cream and a quarter cup of milk. Now we're just going to whisk that all together. Now we're going to go ahead and add our neon orange food coloring. This is just going to give it more of an orange pumpkin fall kind of a look. Now we're going to take a large mixing bowl and we're going to go ahead and add in our diced potatoes and we're going to add our six eggs that we've chopped up and then we're going to add in our sauce and then just stir it all up together. And this is our autumn potato salad. I went ahead and just garnished it with some extra paprika, dill weed, and a little bit of scallions. Next up, we're gonna be making our moldy cornbread. This is a super easy recipe. I'm just taking one packaged cornbread mix and preparing it according to the box, which in this case, it called for a third of a cup of milk and one egg. After I've prepared it according to the box, I'm just going to add in some green food coloring to make this look nice and moldy. Stir it around till it's nice and green. Now I got these really cute little muffin tins at Michael's. This is a treat worth dying for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my muffin tins with my cornbread mix and put it in the oven. Now we can move on to our fried bat wings. These came out so good. The skin is nice and crispy and the sauce is tasty. I'm gonna go ahead and start with half a cup of melted butter. A quarter cup of soy sauce. One teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of vinegar. A quarter cup of brown sugar. Three garlic cloves chopped up. I'm gonna stir that together. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it over to the stove. And we're gonna pour our glaze into our saute pan. And we're gonna cook it on a medium high heat and just keep stirring it until it bubbles and the sauce begins to thicken. After our glaze has begun to thicken, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the stove. 
and put it in a bowl and let it cool. Now we're going to add our black food coloring. Give it a good stir. This is going to make our wings look like they are from bats and not chickens. Now we're going to take our 10 whole chicken wings that have already been rinsed. We're going to take a large mixing bowl and we're going to add one cup of flour and some salt and pepper. just going to do this really simple because all of the flavor is going to come from our glaze. We're going to take our little chicken wings. We left them whole because they really do look like bat wings. They're pretty gross. And we're just going to dip each one in the flour just to give it a light coating. This is going to help our skin really crisp up in our oil. Now we're going to take it over to our oil. We're going to turn the oil onto a medium heat. I like to test the oil by sticking a small piece of the chicken into the oil and once the skin starts to sizzle I know that the oil is hot enough to start deep frying. I'm going to go ahead and place my chicken in the oil and cook this for about 20 minutes until the skin is golden. Cooking time may vary depending on how hot your oil is and how large your chicken wings are. I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the oil and put them into a glass baking dish. Now it's time to brush on our glaze. I'm going to go ahead and take a kitchen brush and I'm just going to brush the glaze right on top and make sure it's thoroughly covered. Then we're going to broil this for about 8 to 10 minutes until the skin looks really crispy and the glaze is shiny. And there we go, those are our bat wings. The skin on these is absolutely delicious and crispy. And the glaze is sweet with a little bit of tang. The glaze just glistens in the light. These really do look like they came from a bat. And those were our fried bat wings. So that's it for today's recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's meal. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the Halloween fun that we have planned here at Keep It Sunny. And join us again tomorrow for another ghoulish video. If you would like extra content from us, you can check us out on our Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter in the description below. Thanks again for watching. God loves you. Happy Halloween. Keep it creepy. <laughs>